Now let's see the proof of the BP theorem, the basic proportionality theorem. Now in this case, I have few of the constructions which I have made. Now initially, I am going to consider triangle ADE. So in triangle ADE, what do I observe? Now in this triangle ADE, I want to find area of this triangle ADE. So area of triangle ADE is nothing but half into base into height. Therefore, for this triangle, if I take the base as ED, if I take the base as AD, I'm sorry, then the height is EF. Therefore, area of triangle being half into base into height will give me half times. If the base is considered as AD, then the perpendicular height EF will be its respective height. Therefore, half times base which is AD and the height which is EF is what I get for area of triangle ADE is what I get in its comparison. Similarly, I take the triangle BDE. So when I take the triangle BDE, let's see what its area is. So in triangle BDE, if I wanted to find area of triangle BDE is again with the formula half into base into height. But as I clearly observe the triangle BDE, this is the base and this is the height, the height which is outside of the triangle. For this triangle, the height is outside because I cannot draw a perpendicular in this obtuse angled triangle. For an obtuse angled triangle, the height always lies outside the triangle. Therefore, if I take this as the base, then height is EF. Therefore, for triangle BDE, half times the base, which is BD, and the height, which is EF, is what I get as the area of triangle BDE. Similarly, for these two triangles, if I wanted to find the ratio of area of triangle this by this, let's see what exactly I get. So area of triangle ADE, if I denote with triangle ADE and area of triangle BDE, if I denote with triangle BDE or if I just write area of, then in this case, clearly I get area of triangle ADE is substituted for the simplified value. So this would be nothing but half times AD times EF and the denominator is area of triangle BDE which is substituted for whole of this, which comes out as half times BD times EF is what I get. Now, as I see here, I have the common terms half and half and EF and EF, which can be cancelled out there since the side is non-zero. Therefore, the remaining is AD by BD, which I finally get for the area of the triangle ADE by area of triangle BDE is what I get as the ratio. Similarly, I would like to consider the triangle ADE and this triangle and see what I get in the similar manner. So in the second case, I consider this triangle and this triangle with the height as DG instead of EF. And let's see what exactly I get from this triangle and this triangle, which I'm going to consider in the next case of continued proof of BP theorem. So again, let me consider triangle ADE. Therefore, reconsider triangle ADE. But in this case, if I wanted to find area of triangle ADE, then it is nothing but half into base into height. But in this case of the second case, I take the base as E and the height as DG. So when the base becomes EE, its height will not be EF, but it will be DG. So the height changes according to the base of the triangle. So in this case, if I take area of triangle ADE, then this is half into base into height, which comes out to be half times base, which is AE, and the height, which is DG. So that this is the area of triangle ADE. Similarly, if I take the triangle DCE, 
is the triangle which I considered, which was the previous triangle BDE. So, in triangle DCE, I want to find area of triangle DCE. Now, in this triangle DCE, my base, if I take as EC, then its height is respectively DG. Therefore, in this triangle, if I consider the base EC, then immediately its respective height is DG, which is outside of the triangle because that triangle is also an obtuse angled triangle. So its height lies outside the triangle. Now in this case, I got the two cases, then I consider area of the first triangle which I have obtained here divided by area of triangle, the second triangle that is DCE, which I get by substituting each of the cases. For example, here, my area of triangle ADE, which is half times AE times DG by area of triangle DCE, which is half times EC times DG, which on substitution reduces to the right hand side. Now, similarly, I can see here the half and the DG gets cancelled so that it reduces to AE by EC. I take this as equation 2. So I got two of the equations. One is equation 1 which I obtained in the previous case and this is equation 2. Now from this let's see how the common ratios are same. So assuming that if the left hand sides of equation 1 and 2 are equal then indirectly I can say the right hand sides are equal by transitive property when the left hand sides are equal equally the right hand sides will be equal is what I conclude with. Therefore let's show if the left hand side of the ratio of area of triangles here is equal to that as obtained in equation 1. Now as I clearly see here with the two triangles let's see for their equal areas through some mathematical properties. Now let's consider the first triangle in the numerator which is ADE. So as I clearly see that a triangle is equal to itself in its area. So every object is equal to itself in the law of nature. Therefore triangle ADE is equal to triangle ADE because this is same triangle because I consider the same triangle both on left hand side and right hand side. Therefore since same triangle, this triangle is equal to this triangle out there. Now similarly, let me consider these two triangles BDE and CDE. Now since two triangles on the same base and between same parallels are equal in area, as you can see, if I have two triangles which are on the same base and if they are between same parallels, these two are equal in area is the mathematical property. Therefore, triangle BDE and CDE with the same base DE and between the same parallels L and BC are also equal in area. Therefore, triangle BDE. So therefore, as I see the two triangles, triangle BDE, as I see here, is equal to triangle CDE because of the most important mathematical property which says that triangles on the same base and between same parallels are exactly equal in area. Therefore, the reason here is that since triangles on same base and between same parallels are equal in area. is what I get when the two triangles are taken on the same base and between same parallels. Therefore, with these two areas being equal, therefore, I get area of triangle ADE by area of triangle BDE, which I took in the first equation, and area of triangle ADE, which I took in the second equation with that of CDE, are equal, since these two are equal since 
from 1 and 2, I again get that I have this ADE by BDE triangle which had the sides as AD by DB, AD by DB which I got from equation 1 which is equal to AE by AC from equation 2 are equally the same because this is equal to this implies this equal to this since by transitive property of equation 1 and 2 is what proves the basic proportionality theorem because when one side is parallel to the one of the line drawn parallel to the third side will divide the other two sides in the same ratio. Hence, the basic proportionality theorem is proved or the tails theorem is proved for a triangle ABC with one of its side being parallel to the line L divides the other two sides in the same ratio by P theorem.